Hello and welcome to another edition of the Sean Two Cents. Uh, we got a great show tonight. I am going to review Border Wars. I uh, got the Ring of Honor's eye review from tonight. EWF from last night. And my final thoughts on the Red Carpet Rumble. Yes. Let's go first get the Border Wars. What an awesome review of Ring of Honor. Ring of Honor, you know, I've been high on them all year. And another solid review. Matches were awesome. The matches of note were ACH, and Darius Arnold's Chris Cole, and Cedric Alexander. Awesome opener, killed it. Fantastic athletic match. Now, Ishimaru versus Edwards match of the night. One of my favorite matches. My God, was this a great match. Jay Briscoe versus Adam Cole, what a great main event. And then London versus Richards, awesome. Too bad the preview messed up and missed a few, some of it. Overall, great show. Yes, the story on tradition of Elgin Lethal facing Compton and Jacobs. And then Steen come in, pretty good. They admit I just remember been in a strong, a nice strong match, which I really enjoyed. And it might be missed. And then Champa came back and marked out for that. Tommaso Champa back. Gonna try to destroy RD Evans, Kitty Marshall. We'll see how that goes. Oh, yes, yeah, so a two time match to Matt Tavon and Mark Briscoe. Uh, it's alright. Nothing bad you can say about this card because it's a four out of five star show. I say go, uh, if you haven't seen it already, go buy it to a four, 1395. You can get it right now, it's on DVR already. That's cool about Ring of Honor. They didn't have much problems from the stream today. Only went off on once. So Ring of Honor, two thumbs up. Their, their direction is really cool. Can't wait to see what they do for Best in the World 2012. And see what they do for tomorrow's tapings for TV. You have Ishimura versus Elgin. London versus uh, Edwards. Should be Austin. Then you got the American Woods versus the Briscoes. So it should be pretty good. Then Fish and O'Reilly. Face the merit face the Briscoes later on this month, so a lot of good stuff coming up for Ring of Honor. Ring of Honor's direction is great. If you haven't been watching Ring of Honor since the time to get on it, it is getting very good. It's just like one top promotions right now, and really on the ba Ring of Honor bandwagon right now. Then my thought, then the, here's my thoughts on the Empire Wrestling Federation. 70 Man was show, our second show. I was very excited, and it met my expectations. It was like a solid, good show with solid matches. So, some things long, ran along, but that, that's just what it. Had a fun time, a lot of familiar faces. Nice, great crowd. One thing really stood out, I mean, the Fatal Boy title match with the Von Dunes, La Familia, the Warriors, and the Fallen Empire. Man, some great talent there. Really, I really want to see Eddie Ryan Kidd and Eddie Durando get some belts sooner or later, but they need still need some seasoning, still see me a couple more years on them, but. One, one, of, one of the, also one of the teams that went on my show. I tweeted them and messaged them. I was in my shows, but I have never got them on the show. But it's one people I do want to do. And then we had the uh, Iron Mike Maze is the new EWF. Well, I can find a dollar. EWF. World Heavy Champion out of, after Mario Lies beat Brandon Gas in the street fight and then vacated the title. So the big battle royal was for the EWF Heavy Champion. So Mike Maze is the new Scrubber Sky. To be the new champion, and what I've seen my face, I've seen him face Square Sky twice. Good wrestler, and I really would like to see what his run is. For my thoughts on you after two shows, I like it, but my sister doesn't really enjoy it, so I don't know if I'll come back or not. But just here at NS, I love what you guys do there. A little long in some parts, but overall good action. A nice opener between Seville the Thrill versus Jacob Teruso. Seville Alvarez, you've been doing great action. If you haven't booked Seville the Thrill, man, you, you don't know what you're missing here. He was on my show. So Alvarez, up and coming right here. We also had a master match that was pretty cool, and then we had uh, that last chance to be Mike Maze and Scorpio Sky. So we had some good stuff and a nice, good, solid show. So I checked out DV Part 2 was tonight and 17. I hope it went well. Also, now my final thoughts for Rigor Finally, after months and months of anticipation, it's finally here. Anaheim Business Expo. On, I mean, the Business Expo. Anaheim Business Expo in Anaheim. Anaheim Business Expo, okay. 3 o'clock, Rigor Rumble. 30 of the biggest superstars in Southern California. The Holy Heritage title is up for grabs. And who does the Sean want? I say Sean Rector. The last two minutes of the inning will fight and the winner will get the champion. So, I'm still going with Sean Rector as I said Thursday. It's going to be a solid show. If you have, don't, look, some things you might not know. It is going to be a full on taping for now. Full on tapings. It'll probably be the regular taping schedule. Then main events will be Dark Air Rumble. Also, we're going to have Kit the Car there and Love Bug there. And also, if you buy your tickets, you got to print them out and bring them to the, bring them to the show. So, again, it's going to be an awesome show. It probably might be the biggest crowd in Hollywood is have. We'll see. I know Philly said we might, people might not want to travel that far, but I think they've really done a great promotional effort. And everybody's really pulling their weight promoting it. And I really wanted to get one last push in. 
the red card when we haven't gone to a Hollywood show, you gotta go. Hollywood's awesome. And this will be a national TV taping. 40 million homes will see this TV taping. It's awesome. It'll be the first TV taping for Mad TV, so it'll be epic. And we're gonna crown a Hollywood Heritage Champion. How cool is that? It's gonna continue the legacy of the old Heritage title. This will be the eighth champion. Someone's gonna hold a new title around SoCal. Someone will be the new champion. And it's just, the title is amazing. We got Pierce and Gorgeous George on there, and then you got TJ Perkins' name on the side, and Ryan Taylor's name on the side. And you got so many great people could win the title. You got Ryan Taylor, Mike Yoshe. So it's a really great chance to really start over Hollywood, and Hollywood can continue a new chapter. And this might be a new chapter in Hollywood history. It just, it's just exciting, because we don't have a lot of TV shows here in California, local TV wrestling. And local TV wrestling is kind of dead nowadays, and we're trying to Hollywood to succeed for three, in three years. It's great. And I'm glad to be a part of it since last June. And I've been part of a lot of great stuff. Was there with the 100 episode? Dave Marquez, John Ian, Adam Pierce, they all do a great job. And I just, I hope for more success. As it gets the things right, I think things are moving forward and it's really going to be successful. I hope Matt TV really gets success. Tomorrow I'll be there cheering it on and stuff. And so, really pretty, really pretty, pretty cool. And also, some other reviews. AEW, a point of no return. Another awesome show by AEW. Elgin versus Richards, epic match. ACH versus O'Reilly, fucking amazing. Their whole roster is amazing. AW was great. Then Chikara's Russell Connor show was, was really good. Some great action there. Chikara's been really putting it on good this year. Can't wait for our live. I reviewed June 2nd. Any wrestlers really been putting on really good lately. I just watched my AEW, my Ring of Honor, my Dragon USA, and Evolve. And everything. Brian Cage can make his Evolve debut June 30th. This is as June 30th, we May 30th, June 1st, June 2nd, natural shot. Brian Cage makes way to all. I can't believe Brian Cage has been this long. Brian Cage made a debut in Dragon Gate in January. We didn't have an impact to be brought back, which I love Brian Cage. I hope he does great there. So, you know, that, that, that's it for me. So, as so always, go check out my interviews. I hope to get more interviews tomorrow, so we'll see who I get tomorrow. You don't know who will be on the show. Last time I had the Hobo and John Human, but I don't know the setup here, so we'll see how it goes. So as always, make sure to like this video and subscribe. Peace, guys. If you see me in the room, we'll say hi and say you love my show, whatever. Peace, guys. Bye.